Well, welcome back, YouTube fans. Um, this is uh, one of the car ports from Signature Solar. It is a two-car port uh, with um, the ability to hold supposedly 24 solar panels. Um, so uh, we pitched, we decided to get this and, of course, put this out with the, I believe it's Aptos, uh, the 410 watt, uh, 37 volt solar panels. Um, and we figured it, using this configuration should help max out the 6,000 XP's that we have. Um, so as you see, we're just kind of taking some of the stuff apart, you know, taking the cardboard out and those plastic, uh, bandings there's it comes in this solid steel cage uh, part of it's welded part of it's bolted and uh, this is kind of what's hiding there underneath um, several components so this is the box that somehow got uh, damaged during some of the shipping pieces we did get with signature solar and they have uh, you know sent us replacement parts um, here is some of the, uh, what's in here is actually some of the mounting hardware that's used to connect the solar panels to the carport. And um, as you can see here, you got your, um, some of your end caps for the, the metal poles. There are uh, structures. You have the um, grounding pieces for the panels. And of course the the hardware to actually do the mounting. This box here contains uh, some of the pieces related to the actual structure itself. It didn't have a whole lot in there. We did find some of the components from the other one um, on the driveway, uh, you know, where some of it had fallen off when it was coming up. It, we do have a very steep driveway. And uh, don't forget to look inside these um, uh, metal um, pieces here because you'll find all kinds of things that are actually for your construction hidden inside those uh, those pieces so don't forget to look inside there if you pick up one of these don't forget to look inside there uh, definitely do that before you tell signature solar that something is missing um, those are pretty sturdy solid steel um, plates to mount that to the ground I'm just kind of putting stuff over here on the the table because now the the next task that we have is going to be trying to take the stuff out of the cage and this was quite a workout um, and we continued uh, getting individual pieces and setting them aside grouping the pieces so that we could Validate that against the install sheet to make sure each component was still there um, There was one of these components which did not match the other ones. I'm not sure if it will be a problem or not um, I don't think it's going to be a big deal. It was slightly different But uh, you know, I think it came from maybe another unit and somehow got mixed up into this one But it's similar to the other one. So I think it'll work um, so again, just pulling out all these different pieces, uh, this video was so long, the series of videos that I had to take, you'll actually watch, um, as the time lapses that it goes into the night hours. Um, I don't move very fast. Uh, I, I have a knee problem, a back problem, and of course uh, other problems. Um, so I found a spring washer there just laying on the top, so I'm not sure which part that came from. Um, yeah. Uh, and you'll definitely want to categorize everything. Make sure you have every like piece um, and just set it out on the ground. Um, here soon you'll see that I end up moving the car so that I can get the big pieces out because I didn't expect that uh, 
I, I first thought that this structure, uh, the steel structure, would actually just unbolt, and then I saw many pieces of it were welded. So I figured just move the car, slide everything out, um, and then reposition it uh, and move the metal cage over to the edge of the cliff. Um, Cause as you can see here, where that is, you can see part of the, where that driveway on the other side of the driveway, it's just a drop off. <laughs> uh, both sides of, of where we have uh, graded out is uh, our cliffs. But that's just part of living um, out in the mountains you're going to have that issue no matter what. Here's a neat little trick. What I determined is you can take some of the plastic banding that they send you and you can actually use it to help get uh, some of those items outside of the cage. Um, Cause on each one of those bars is a uh, series of holes used for the mounting into other pieces. So what I did was, <laughs> I didn't have a lot of help at this particular stage. Um, so I, I hope that if you buy one of these, you're gonna have some help to, to do this. But I just put that in there and of course, uh, just slid it backwards. Uh, it didn't give me too much of a hassle because on the bottom of the steel structure is actually uh, cardboard. So things slid out pretty easily for the most part. Um, granted, it is very, very heavy. So you do see me struggling a bit, trying to, to get that stuff to slide out. And I use that for a lot of those big pieces. Okay, here it is, all organized. That was a lot of work for us. Um, that definitely hired crew. That's the one thing I made a mistake on here. So lessons learned, hire a crew. I couldn't make the full length video because it would have been an hour long. So I had to cut it down. I hope you don't mind, but this is the technically unboxing video uh, of the two car carport um, that they sell at Signature Solar. I'll actually put a link down in the uh, description to the product. Um, if you like what you saw, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And click the bell icon to receive notifications on new videos.